My name is uh, Srikanth Ramaswamy. I'm a group leader within the Blue Brain Project at the EPFL in, in Switzerland. The Blue Brain Project is a Swiss initiative to build a, a facility to uh, digitally reconstruct and, and simulate the, the mammalian brain. So I did my uh, bachelor's in electrical engineering in India and then uh, got a evening scholarship to go to the University of Glasgow in Scotland to do my master's in electrical engineering. I attended a, a, a lecture um, in neuroscience. It, it just happened by chance. You know, um, a, a lecture was cancelled and uh, I didn't know what to do. Uh, I had some time, so I, I, I just gate crashed into this neuroscience lecture. I, I pretty much was hooked on thereafter. And then I, I decided to switch tracks completely and uh, moved into neuroscience. I've always been the odd man out in, in uh, many situations uh, uh, because I don't think I, I, I fit into the quintessential definition of a, of a neuroscientist in Europe because um, a neuroscientist in Europe is, 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 is typically a white person. As an Indian of ethnic origin, there aren't too many people of, of my ethnicity actually doing neuroscience research in Switzerland. So culturally, I, I have quite a, a unique background. Uh, as well as professionally because there aren't too many people as well um, who, who switch to neuroscience from an engineering background. Many people um, during, my, during the course of my PhD thought I, I would never be able to do a PhD because I, I, uh, in neuroscience because I came from a different background and, and also from a, from a different part of the world. They thought I didn't have it in me to, to actually do a PhD and uh, I was discouraged from, from doing many things that would, that would have been natural to do uh, for, a, for a person um, um, of white ethnicity. I've been part of a, um, a, a multidisciplinary team um, where um, we've developed tools to actually integrate uh, experimental data on different uh, levels of organization in the mammalian brain. My part um, in, in this uh, whole endeavor is to try and understand how certain chemicals called neuromodulators regulate behavioral states in the brain and how the brain transitions from one behavioral state to the other, like for example from sleep to wakefulness. A scientist is an international asset. At the end of the day, if a scientist from, from Cambodia uh, finds a cure for Alzheimer's disease, it's going to benefit the whole world.